Rather than assign a specific due date to a task, we can instead assign a task duration, which means we will give the task a beginning date and an end date. To do that, we select a task, go over to the task details pane, select due date, by default we're on the date option, we can choose duration. From here we can select a start date and a start time and we can also choose an end date and an end time. Press OK. Now you can see on the left side in the list view, Filled Canisters has a due date of tomorrow, but if we look over in the task details pane, we can see that it's actually a task duration from February 1st at 2 p.m. through February 17th at 3 p.m. We don't necessarily have to use a beginning time and end time. Let me pick a different task and go back into the duration options. By default, we have to populate the begin time and end time. But if we check the all day option, then we only have to select the start date and end date. And we no longer have to pick a start time and end time. Once we press the OK button, we can again see up at the top this task has a duration of February 2nd through February 17th.